Candace Igner Brown. I'm the new head women's basketball coach at Swarthmore College. I uh, started my career at uh, Catawba College in Salisbury, North Carolina, um, Division II school, and I turned my full ride down to play Division III basketball at Marymount University. I finished my career at Marymount. Um, I had the opportunity to play my junior year in a Sweet 16 and my senior year in a Final Four. Um, I, as a player, I was a two-time uh, All-American, um, and so I had a really good playing career. I enjoyed my time uh, at Marymount, and I think that it really helped me uh, become a better teacher of the game. I was fortunate enough to get a full-time uh, coaching job right out of college at uh, Southern New Hampshire University. Uh, worked there for two years, went back to my alma mater for two years, and then uh, was fortunate enough to get the head women's basketball job at Manhattanville College. Um, at Manhattanville, I spent three years, turned the program around, and then went to Vassar College, uh, where I am now coming from and spent the last 10 years. Uh, we had the opportunity to play in four NCAA tournaments and win three Liberty League championships. I'm hoping to have that same success here at Swarthmore. I think that it creates balance. Um, you know, even in the recruiting process, I tell players all the time, you know, in the fall, you're gearing up for season, and so you're spending a lot of time in the gym and really preparing for season. Um, in season is one of the longest seasons in college uh, in six months, um, but then in the spring, you really get an opportunity to just prepare for summer and make sure that you have workouts, um, but you are able to you know, experience the area that you're in, get involved with more uh, clubs on campus, um, but it definitely provides a, a balance. When I played Division II basketball, I literally slept, ate, and breathed basketball. Um, and, you know, it was intense. Um, I enjoyed it. I was probably in the best shape of my life. Uh, but I think that the Division Three experience definitely provides a sense of balance that, you know, you can be competitive and you can get after it, but you also are focused a great deal on your academics as most Division Three players won't go on to play in the WNBA. Um, so you can get the best of both worlds. Every freshman that comes in, I will meet with them on a weekly basis um, to, and every transfer student to uh, discuss their academics. We really want to set them up for success. We want them to help, uh, understand time management and understand that, you know, it is very different than the high school level. Um, and so we want to be able to point them in the, to the, towards the right resources if you know, they're struggling in one area or not. Um, and I think that everyone who has a you know, 3.0 or better don't, doesn't have to meet with me for academic uh, monitoring, but everyone who has below, and this is also including returners, will have to meet with me. And it just, we, I mean, academics is important. We want the very best for our students, and we want to make sure that they excel, uh, not just on the basketball court, but in the classroom as well. Well, I am a big advocate of listening to music, uh, so I probably start the morning with music and listening. I do a lot of driving, um, but I also like to run. Um, it is something that challenges me mentally uh, since I don't comp play ba basketball competitively anymore. Um, so I have done about four or five half marathons. And so I will, you know, train for them over the course of the year. Um, but, you know, uh, my wife and I just had a one-year-old son. So when I'm not coaching, I probably spend a lot of time with him as during the season, he gets very limited of my time and he keeps me pretty busy. I'm a huge football fan, um, Redskins, diehard Redskins fan. We're not very good, but you know, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, you know, now that I'm in uh, Eagles Nation, God help me. Uh, but I think that, you know, football Sunday, uh, besides, you know, going to church on Sunday, football is like number one. I'd rather watch football more than I'd rather watch basketball on TV. Uh, but I also played soccer in college, and so I don't mind, you know, going to soccer games, and that's pretty fun. But I also played high school field hockey. Uh, but like football, definitely hands down, has to be like my favorite um, to watch on TV. Well, right now I'm listening to a little Cardi B. Um, Press is a one um, beautiful people, Ed Sheeran. Um, the album that he, you know, put out uh, just with the collaborative um, efforts of different artists is pretty cool. Um, I'm a Lucas Graham fan, um, and then you know I love uh, old school rap, old school rap 
like uh, Biggie, Tupac, and also a little DMX. So I have a wide variety of musical interest. I mean, um, I am also a big fan of gospel. Uh, so, you know, it just depends on the mood. Uh, but I, and, and I actually like country too. So, I mean, it just depends. So, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, my players tease me a little bit. They're like, oh, what kind of mood are you in today? You know, so it's pretty funny. But I uh, enjoy music and I think that it is one of the things that connects people. Um, and so, you know, I like to just hear what the players are listening to. Some of it's trash rap, but uh, most of the time, you know, I can dig it. Um, I'm pretty animated on the sidelines. Um, sometimes I leave the game, I'm sweating, like I played in the game. Um, and so I spend more time talking on the defensive end. Um, as a player, I was a defensive oriented coach. I think as far as offense is concerned, you know, you have several reps in practice. The offense will take care of itself, but I am, you know, talking a great deal on the defensive end, helping our players um, recognize where their plays are and the things that we've gone over as far as how we want to defend them. Um, so my immediate goals is really to connect our team um, and really, you know, help them to um, bind together and get on the same page. Um, I think, you know, changing the culture is something that is always ongoing, um, but I want our team to be well connected and, you know, enjoy being with each other. Um, six months is a long time, start to finish. Um, I think the other thing is, is really getting after it on the defense event. When you come into a new place, um, you can't really change personnel. You have to, do, you know, work with what you have there, um, but we can work harder on the defense event. We can be in people's shorts. Um, you know, we can really get after it as far as, you know, creating turnovers and playing a transition game. Um, so that will be definitely a focus. Um, and, you know, I think long term, I, I hope to really break into the top five and get into the centennial um, playoffs. And I think that, you know, when I say long term, I'm thinking about three to four years, hopefully uh, really making some big strides in a short period of time.